Hello, this short video is um, all about how to draw circles or parts of circles uh, on German film uh, if you're a blind user. So, this is the compass we're going to use today. Uh, it's a standard sort of beam compass. This end is where the pan goes through, and this end is the pointy bit. Okay, you've got two thumb wheels. I'll show you how to set it up. There's two thumb wheels on there. The first one just secures the pen. Do it up nice and tight so it can't move. And the second one secures the slidey bit there. Okay, make sure the nib and the pointy bit are about the same level, like that. So, uh, it's quite difficult to draw sm small circles using one of these, so the best thing to do is probably start with your students drawing something around 8 centimetres or so. You can see the 8 mark there and you can tighten it up nice and tight. <clears throat> now most students will not be able to use the uh, scale on the side there. It is ever slightly tactile but not very much. So if you're working with a student who's doing this sort of stuff you can set the compass for them. And in examination situations they can also, it can also be set to size for them. Okay, so let's have a go. I'm just going to make sure those are really tight because you don't want them to move. Okay. So start with a pin in the paper, Okay, press down gently on there. It's quite important to try to maintain pressure at the centre at all times. Okay, Because if the centre point moves it's really difficult to find it again. So try to press down on that all the time. As before when using gym and film, lean the pen the way that you're going to go. I'm going to draw away from myself so I'm leaning the pen slightly away. Okay, uh, Press down and round we go. Hey, presto. Now the tricky bit comes when the students need to change hands. They've got to remember you can let go of this end but keep that end pinned down into the into the mat. Okay, and then change hands. Okay, they can find out where they've got to using the finger. Just continue from that place. Keep leaning the pen towards the way you're going. Okay, time to change hands again, so keep hold, of the, keep hold of the pointy bit, change hands, pick it up again, off you go. And they'll sort of know they've, when they've completed, and that is how to draw a circle using a compass. As I said, small circles are much harder to draw than large circles. So start off with drawing sort of 8, 10 centimetre circles, something like that. A nice way to get a bit of practice using this, obviously apart from drawing lots of circles, is to um, create a hexagon and it also gives a good sort of practice of using all various types of equipment uh, that we've looked at so far. So to start with, I want to cheat a little bit, to start with I want to draw a mark on the edge of my circle somewhere. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to put the centre of my compass on it and draw a small arc of a circle just there. Okay, I'm going to move around to that position and draw another arc of a circle just there and so on and so on. And so on. And you can sort of instill in the people you're working with the importance of being accurate. You should go back to where you started if they're anywhere near accurate. Okay, that's a great way just to check and try to make, make them maintain some sort of accuracy here. To finish off the hexagon, quite simply, place a pin on every cross point. So, I'll take my pen out of the compass, there you go. and then they can practice <coughs> lining up spider legs and joining all the pins together. It's actually quite a challenge. 
just to get the ruler in the correct place in the first place to be able to do this. Okay. And there you have a hexagon. Okay, thanks for watching. The next video would video will be up soon.